Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I want to show and talk about all of my colonies. Um, I don't have a dedicated room, so uh, they sit uh, on this shelf at the moment, but uh, there is enough space, I can fit a couple more, so I think I'm good for now. Okay, so let's go to the first colony. Okay, so the first colony is the one with that unknown queen. I found this queen in the forest this spring. If you didn't saw my video, check it out here in the link. Uh, meanwhile, I still think that's uh, Lazius Bruneus, but still not sure. Uh, I saw that uh, Bruneus workers have a brown uh, torso, a brownish torso, and somehow they have also a heart-shaped gaster, a bit like uh, Crematogaster scutellaris. But these uh, nanitics are small and uh, I'm not sure, maybe I have to wait for the regular ants to, to check it out. Uh, else the colony is uh, looking good and healthy. I made them this um, plug, the cork plug in the entrance and I cut uh, a little entrance. They uh, also narrowed it a bit more with some sand and now I think uh, they are happy living inside the test tube. Switching to the macro lens, uh, I couldn't get the queen, she was hiding here, but uh, you can see the brood in different stages, uh, looking very nice and the workers taking care of it. Yeah, test tube looking good. With, with the sand, I think they like the sand, and here is the cork with the entrance. They narrowed it even more with a couple of gr uh, sand uh, grains. And uh, I gave them a small roach, uh, actually it's a half of a roach. Uh, and um, the ants came outside to check it out. And, and here is a good shot of the workers that I have now. I still think they are nanitics because they are really small, they are under a half centimeter. So I don't think they are the, the real workers, it's still nanitics, I believe. But maybe the you can tell me, you guys that have a Lazius species, if this is a Lazius niger or Bruneus or something else. Anyway, I'm excited to see how the colony progresses in summer and uh, till um, autumn when um, I will put them in a colder place for the winter. So let's go to the second colony now. Okay, Crematogaster scutellaris here in the same box. They're also doing great. Here the queen with a lot of brood. Um, I also gave them something to eat, but uh, yeah, let's uh, switch to the macro lens. Okay, so again the queen and some workers with their nice red head and uh, heart-shaped caster. And if you see, they have naked pupae. Uh, to be honest, I didn't know they have uh, naked pupae without cocoon or or maybe I forgot but uh, I was surprised when I filmed it to to see the pupae without a cocoon very very nice yeah a lot of workers also I have um, if you see here inside I was also surprised um, they were definitely fewer last time so this also is nice to see Switching to the next colony, the Mesor Barbarus. They live in this big and uh, expensive arena with some seeds and some protein. And I crushed the seeds a bit following a viewer's advice. 
and it really seems that they take more of it and I think in the beginning is now easier because they still don't have these big majors I think they are with the big heads that uh, I heard uh, used to crush the seeds so I think it's a good idea uh, the queen is here with a big pile of brood um, and uh, I don't know maybe a bit of that uh, ant bread I think it's called uh, like the they chew the seeds right and make some 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 type of I don't know gluey mess and uh, yeah here is the queen and some workers I, I had also some big ones uh, I received the colony with some big workers uh, so I think probably uh, the, they were put uh, there to help a bit the queen so brood boosted or how it how it's called right so yeah anyway and uh, yeah I, I didn't put a liquid uh, feeder with sugar water so a carbohydrate source I didn't put in the arena because uh, someone told me they uh, take all the carbohydrates from that ant bread and they don't really need a sugar sure source so I think it's uh, I think it's good. Anyway, let's uh, switch to the next colony. Okay, the smallest colony in terms of the size of the ants. This is the Temnothorax species. I still don't know which which one. And um, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, but uh, to be honest, it's somehow hard to watch uh, and to recognize something inside. They are still, um, I don't know, don't doing much, uh, standing still most of the time, barely moving. And give them some proteins and uh, sugar water and they come outside. But uh, that's, that's all somehow. So, uh, phew, yeah. Um, water is uh, still enough, uh, but at some point I will have to give them another test tube. But fortunately, I have in this small arena a second connection, right? So I can do this very easy. Uh, and uh, still, I don't have the nests uh, from from that Canadian company, Pura More Art. Uh, yeah, maybe it was my my fault. I ordered it like without uh, any special stuff, so it's coming with the ship, like I think two months, but. They are three months already and I didn't got the package so maybe it got lost. I should took the more expensive shipping with the plane. Anyway, uh, macro lens shot. You can see something inside. I think this is the queen here. A lot of brood but, but you see most of the ants are standing still and this like they stay the whole day. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Switching to Camponotus nicobarensis, they are doing good and going strong, still in the wooden nest from Foranto, that with the crack that I used to uh, manage to fix last time. If you didn't see the video how uh, I got all the escapes and I improvised and fixed it, uh, check the link. Uh, also the arena, uh, still the same. Um, a lot of ants in the arena, I think they are hungry a bit, I feed them only once a week. This is the sugar water, actually it's a invert sugar, 70%, so it's only sugar uh, and uh, it doesn't get, go, get bad, so it lasts for a long time. Uh, here is the second feeder and uh, if you remember the ants uh, managed to empty the water and flood the arena so I took them out a couple of months ago but I decided to give give them a second chance uh, and I put two because you see this one is camped heavy and uh, I thought maybe they need a second one because the nest is also dry I don't water it and it's hot outside and so I gave them a, a second liquid uh, water source but here is no one so maybe one it's enough I don't know I, I have to see yeah anyway um, the rest is uh, 
nest is getting crowdier more and more you see a lot of pupa here and a lot of ants let's uh, switch to the macro lens quick here a couple of pupae with a cocoon so not naked like the other species and here a lot of freshly laid eggs and larvae so colony is growing strong and um, in october it will be one year old so let's see how it will go in the future and the last colony uh, to be more precise the last queen this is the camponotus ligniperda i caught um, I don't know, two months ago, I also have a video about it. And um, yeah, I didn't look inside for some weeks now uh, because uh, when I caught her a couple of days after, she started to lay eggs and I was very happy. But then uh, I don't know why she started to freak out and pull at the cotton of on the both uh, ends of the test tube. Uh, and I was afraid she will drown herself because she was ripping uh, parts of the cotton from the from the side where the water is. Anyway, she ate then all her eggs and I didn't know what to do. So I throw this uh, cover on the test tube and I plan to look inside, I don't know, end of August. And I want to make a video about it when I look so we look, can look together and see what we find inside. If they are larvae or pupae or still nothing. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. These were all of my colonies. The video got a bit long, but I hope you can you you still enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye.